In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be his mother, Virgin Mary, our beloved Mother Tomb. When I was reading the words of the reading of today in Isaiah 27, 17 onwards, I thought by myself, well, these are words for our time. And listen to the word, listen carefully, and be awakened when listening to the word of God. They are describing the situation of our time. Thus says the Lord God, but a very little while and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham, now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my holy name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. Dear brothers and sisters, God is the Lord of all times of history. He is also the Lord of our time. And in the confusion of our time, he is the truth, he is always the truth. May he open the eyes of our hearts. May he do give justice to those who are treated unjust. May he enlighten all men with his grace, with his mercy, with his truth, for he alone is the truth. In the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, a blessed day to each one of us.